so girls as you can see here the structure of the globule or the antheridium okay it is not as simple as it looks but it is very complicated inside it is complicated as co as compared to other uh, algal species okay so let us take a look at the structure the internal structure of the globule now this mature globule or the antheridium as you can see here it is spherical in shape okay it is large macroscopic spherical and it is conspicuously red or yellow structure its wall is actually made up of eight cells okay eight number of cells and these cells they are referred to as the shield cells okay so you can see in this figure here these there are around four cell shield cells you, you see here the shield cells but uh other four they are on the other side because it is globule so in the picture you cannot see all the eight cells but there are eight shield cells in the it is made up of eight shield cells and the outer wall of these shield cells they has uh, many enfoldings which form various types of ornamentations on the surface okay they has many enfoldings and i will show you another picture here okay another diagram as you can see here inside okay inside the globule structure the internal structure you can see there is a rod shape structure cylindrical cell which arise from the center now this uh, rod shaped structure you can see here it is referred to as the manubrium okay a rod shaped cylindrical cell referred to as the manubrium is present in the center okay you can see this one this cell here is the manubrium and you can also see here in this figure okay in the center at the end of the manubrium at the end of each manubrium there is one or more spherical or globose cells and these cells here they are referred to as the these cells they are referred to as the primary capitulum cells okay so just at the end of this manubrium these primary capitulum cells here they are attached to the manubrium and these cells they are therefore in direct contact with the manubrium but there are also the there are also the second row of capitulum cells here and these second row of capitulum cells they are known as the secondary capitula okay you can see these are the primary capitulum cells and these are the secondary capitula you can see this one here also it is the secondary capitula now you can see in this figure okay the primary capitulum cells secondary capitulum cells and we also have two to four long unbranched antheridial filaments okay so you can see these uh, above the secondary capitulum cells here you can see the presence of the antheridial filaments or these filaments they are also referred to as the spermatogenous filaments okay at its tip now each of these filaments that is the antheridial filaments all these filaments they contain 20 to 250 cells okay you can see these antheridial filaments here they have around 25 to 250 cells and in each cell okay forms the antherozoid okay so the antherozoid are formed in these inside these cells the antheridial cells and thus each antheridium it produces around 20,000 to 50,000 
anthozoites, which is a very large number. So a very large number of anthozoites are produced from these antheridiums. Okay, from these uh, antheridial uh, filaments.